<laughs> Alright. Woo! <clears throat> okay, cool. So let's look at the, the questions. Uh, should, should I just answer the questions or do you want to like read them out? I can read them out. Okay, cool. awesome. So, number one, how do you feel now that you have been replaced? The most um, asked question. So, when I was replaced, uh, it was completely like, you know, I wasn't informed in advance that I was being replaced. Um, I was out with a few friends at the time, and I got a message from um, someone who used to be in BA, used to be a general, he's a close friend of mine. He has my Instagram and stuff. Uh, he messaged me and he was like, "Yo, like they just like they just kicked you out of BA or whatever. They just replaced you." And I was like, "Oh, haha, like you know, it's a joke or whatever." And then he was like, "No, like dude, they actually like they actually kicked you out." And I was like, "Oh, like seriously?" And he showed he showed me the message, and I, I as I read through it, I, I felt I felt pretty pissed off because um, well, prior to um, what happened, Graham actually messaged me. I can show you a screenshot. You can add it to the video or whatever. Um, but yeah, basically, Graham must have sent me a message t saying, basically, like, oh, like, I heard you don't want to leave BA anymore. We want to get a new replacement for you, yada, yada, because it's not doing the group any well, any good, I mean. Um, so then I responded and I basically said, like, well, actually, no, we're, we're on the come up right now. We're developing all this stuff, getting bigger, yada, yada. Um, actually, before I let well before i got removed uh we actually beat france like three times in a row which is a very good achievement because prior to that we were on a very you know strong losing streak and this was for mainly because i had to take time away because i lost because i got uh assaulted a while back and my mental health wasn't doing so well so i took some time off but then i came back and all this stuff um so yeah to answer the question then uh yeah pretty upset quite quite upset quite angry but it also gave me the motivation to prove to people that I was still a very capable uh, leader and I could still do stuff and then I wasn't dependent on Men of War. Mm -hmm. We can skip question number two because you have um, answered that already. Okay. So do you see future in old BA? Um, I assume by old BA you mean the guys that are like, you know, killing yeah. me, you know, the, <laughs> the legitimate BA. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, can, I can see a pretty good future. Um, it may not be uh, the, the the future we were expecting with Men of War, with Navy Tech, and all this stuff. However, it is still a it, it's it's still going to be fun nonetheless. Um, we're moving on to an Ottoman Empire group in Europe and Victor. We're going to be focusing on stuff like uh, campaigns and whatnot. And I've spoken with the guys in EI, and they're they're just lovely people. I've I've heard a lot of bad things about the EI community or whatever, but you know what? Now I'm actually here. The guys there don't seem too bad, but obviously I won't. I won't speak like fully on it yet because obviously I've not properly been put into EI yet. But so far, it, it's looking good, and I will. I will not lie and say that they have. That there's everyone's on board with this idea. There were a lot of people who just didn't want to do EI and didn't want to leave old BA, and that's fine. You know, I didn't. Um, I didn't. There's, I haven't actually condemned anybody for leaving and joining the new BA. The only people I have condemned are the people who betrayed me. So like, you know, Paddy and Osman and whatever. Actually, <laughs> Osman m must have messaged me a few days ago, basically saying like, oh, like, I'm so sorry. You know, this, this is just how it happened and all that. Uh, I'll provide screenshots for that as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just a bunch of bullshit, really. Let me just send you the screenshot as well. You can add it into the video or whatever. Um, the, yeah, I, 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 to answer the question then, I feel like the the future for for old BA is. I feel like we, we can do a lot of good things with this new Osman group. I, I have a few ideas. There's a lot of motivation amongst the people who did stay. So um, I think we're I think we're good to go actually. Yeah, well, that's all in good. Uh, so let's move to number four. Do you think new BA will succeed? <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, I have no personal hatred towards uh, Sneaky, although his general did piss me off the other day. Uh, I must have like attended a rally with the Royal Marines, like a joke, and the guy who rode up to me on a horse and was like, rats, or whatever, something really cringy like that. And I was like, oh, mate, you're just a piece of work. Wow. Um, hold on, I'm, I'll be back in one second. Give me a second. Yep. God, I'm super sorry. <laughs> okay, um, so like I was saying, I have nothing against uh, Sneaky himself. Um, I have a feeling, well, actually, no, I, I won't elaborate on that. But, um, yeah, I have nothing personally against Sneaky. Um, 
It's general to piss me off. Uh, the people who are who are in the staff now, so Ozma and Paddy, who betrayed me. Obviously, I have, you know, I, I do not like them at all for betraying me. Um, same goes for the for the other people who deliberately went behind my back. I mean, we found that the Discord for the new BA, right? It was actually made like a month ago. So this has been in planning for like a month now. So all the people who were in BA. So, 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 so all the people who were in this, uh, so the EI Austria BA, let's just call it that. All the people who were there in advance and knew the plot was happening and didn't say nothing. Um, you know, I, I don't think they're very good. However, do I think the new BA will succeed? Um, well, I know that in their previous rally, they rallied, like, I think, 190 or something, which is great. Um, I think... We, I, I know at one point we did rally like I think a little bit above 200 I don't remember exactly um, but I, I would be the bigger man and admit yeah no it was bigger than what we were rallying at the time maybe not mm, not, I... not majorly bigger but you know for, for a first rally I think in our first rally we didn't hit 190 at least not to my memory um, but what I will say though is this is a trend with a few groups uh, the first rally always goes quite swiftly but then things go down as people become um, upset and um I won't say any names because obviously it's being recorded, but I have had a, f a good few people uh, come to me saying that they're kind of leaving the UBA and they're not liking how things are being run or whatever. So um, to answer the question then, I feel like the, the success right now is limited and temporary. I feel like over time, um, it will just the activity will drop to maybe like the same amount of activity as like the US or even like how we were, you know, maybe rallying like, you know, 130 or 150, something like that. <clears throat> that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, people want stuff from me. Okay, so we did answer five, six. How's Madras and Han Hanover gonna affect this change? Okay, um, I'd I did I don't, I don't want to throw shade at the leader of either nation. However, I will throw a little shade at Glory, uh, or Glory. Sorry, not Glory. Glory. Um, now you see, I fi I financed all of Glory's regiments. Um, when he made his Hanover group, um, basically, his his funds must have like the the group that was holding the funds got like band or something i don't remember what happened but i basically financed his regiments um and i made all the ranks and all this stuff um but then when everything kicked off i kind of expected because i, I made that favor for him that he'd stick his neck out for me as well and also like when graham was like you know trying to get him punished as well for doing stuff for spain uh, i stood up for him um now he didn't back me up he ended up going back to men of war but here's the thing uh i feel like hanover's days are potentially numbered if this sharky behavior from uh glory continues the guys in hanover are lovely they're amazing while i was like there as the king they were nothing but kind and respectful to me and i appreciate them for that so i feel like if the people inside hanover want to keep hanover going they're gonna have to <laughs> evaluate their leadership a little bit um and as for Madras uh, and the East India Company, well, Francis is just, you know, I, I, I really like Francis. I, I get along with him quite well. I get along with the staff quite well. Um, I don't know what the new BA is doing with them. Uh, however, they've told me they're going to resume doing events in BA. However, they, however to their credit, um, they, were, they are purely like self-financed and everything that's there was made by them. So I'm more than happy for them to keep going. And I hope they do do well. I hope... Uh, East India Company and Madras uh, continue to thrive as they have been so far. Yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm in Madras, and I met some of the I de Camps and General Staff Brigadier Generals, and um, they're pretty chill. Yeah, yeah, very chill. Okay. Question seven. Question seven. Do you think this is the start of the downfall of Men of War? Uh, obviously, my my opinion towards Men of War isn't very positive, so this could be a very biased outlook. However, I do feel as if, um, well, what what the French and Graham have essentially done here is they just forced me out to put a new guy in place. Now, um, I think this precedent is very scary. 
Um, I've spoken to the other two leaders in the community. So, what, Mitsu and um, Adrix. Well, no, I've, I, I don't personally talk with Mitsu, but I know some other guys uh, who I know have spoken to him. And, well, it sets a de- very dangerous precedent because now the trust between them and Grimm has definitely gone down. They are very um, worried about the position they're in. And um, what I feel like Men of War should have done was just got this sneaky Sherman guy and just get, given him a nation like Russia or Batavia. That would have helped the community, but instead they just created some unneeded animosity between me and uh, them. Um, I know on the day that I was removed, lots of people just took to going into like the Men of War Discord and started like you know spamming my name or you know going to the game or whatever. Now, while I never directly ordered this, I made no effort to prevent it either, purely because I felt as if you know I had been uh, done wrong, and I think I, I rightly so I should feel this way. Um, now, obviously, in hindsight, I kind of wish people had been a little bit more, you know, chilled out or whatever. But, you know, you can't blame me. I was in the moment. And to be honest, everyone I've spoken to um, has <laughs> agreed that what happened was bullshit. You know, I know I know a lot of um, people are just saying they agree with it because they don't want to get removed. But trust me, I, I could get out the DMs, but I don't want to, you know, violate the security of uh, people or whatever. But uh, do I think it's a downfall? Um Maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe it will just change. Maybe the way men will back. Maybe it will just be like completely dominated by France, and then you just have like the tiny other nations. Because so so when when I ran BA, it was just the second largest. Now it wasn't. It like France rallied like six hundred or something. BA rallied like maybe two hundred, one hundred and sixty, maybe one hundred and thirty. Um, now we weren't like a a major like opponent in terms of rallying but in skill we definitely made up for it in skill and we won a good few battles against france in the war we tied with them and then in, in recent days we were beating them in battles uh but this new va i i fear as if too many um losses and they will also begin to fall apart uh, i know herman wisman's there now and he runs the cold stream you know funnily enough actually um <laughs> this is funny uh, i was talking to herman wisman a little bit before he joined. So basically, I messaged Herman, like, oh, you know, like, um, I'm going to EI now. Um, do you want to, like, you know, are, are you done with EI? Um, all that kind of stuff. And he was telling me, like, oh, like, you know, he, he basically said he didn't know what happened with me, with BA and all that stuff and all that. And he told me to keep him in contact or whatever. I was like, all right, cool. And then literally, like, five minutes later, I found out he joined the, the new BA. So if any... British general staff are watching this. I'd I'd check uh, <laughs> I'd check loyalties if I were you. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like Herman's gonna it will potentially leave soon because you know he he wants to he he wants a, a wide experience of the entire era and that's fair enough on him. And as for the other people, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I I I guess to answer your question, I don't know. Maybe. Um, I, I don't want to give like a, a final answer, yes or no, because obviously I know my vision of Men of War is definitely clouded because of my personal hatred. Because, well, not hatred, but like my frustration of how events unfolded. But whatever, I'll stop rambling on that question now. What's the what's the next question? How did you feel when you first started with up BA? Uh, so interesting, actually. Um, so uh, GC shut down. Graham was going around getting us all to join this new community. And um, I was very hesitant at first. I had to get convinced to do BA because or- originally they offered me the US, but I said no because I thought the US was boring because of the uniforms and stuff. So then they gave me BA. And I was still very hesitant because people had told me that Whopped Up um, has a tendency to drop out on projects when it doesn't go his way. And I mean, if you've noticed, I mean, Whopped Up has been very quiet re- recently. I don't know if he's quit or not, but. It was an observation I made and I was a little bit worried about. Um, but once things started getting going, um, I was happy. You know, I, I, I was in a group, a big group with all my friends. We were working on a major project. Um, we we're getting lots of recruits, winning battles. You know, it, I, it, was, it, it was a good time. It was a good time for me. The only when My enjoyment only started to deplete. Um, I think it was after the Lion Battletech failure. There was just a massive gap of just like nothing major new, and then obviously you can imagine getting stabbed in the face would definitely affect your enjoyment on a Lego game. So um, yeah, I, I guess one could describe my enjoyment as like you know up, 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 and then like gradually. 
going down and an, an update would come and interest would spike. Every time an update came, interest spiked. And then when the update stopped, the interest was dipped. And then, you know, I had that incident and it dipped even further. And I had staff leave. All my core cool friends left BA as well. People were just getting bored of Men of War. And I was just trying to keep the ship going. And, well, you know, we know where that got me. So, um, so yeah, good, I guess. Very well. And the last question. How many times did you consider to quit doing this, doing BA? Um, well, whenever you run a major group, uh, you always go through, like, major downs, right? Like, you're always... I don't know, maybe like a really significant colonel will leave and all his guys will leave will with him. Maybe a general will like revolt or leave. And, you know, like lots can happen. And um, especially when you're in a, a tight knit community like Men at War, you're kind of like nervously like looking at the developers all the time, kind of hoping they push out like a new update or something. I remember when I was talking with the French, they were expressing the same feelings of me, but I don't know why they didn't get removed, but whatever. Um, it, it, it was a. Uh, it was stressful and especially when close friends of mine would leave the group i'd just be like what the fuck am i doing here like this is just boring um because obviously my friends aren't there uh so yeah at the start of my career though like in men of war i never considered it you know i just never considered it the only times where i began to consider quitting was probably after the siege update that was when i started thinking like okay maybe i should like you know shut down soon or something because i remember the community in general was just quite bland you know uh the us was really small the oe didn't do events of us and was also quite small batavia had just fucking no no this was after line tech sorry uh but anyways batavia just fucking you know blew up and died and then um my generals left uh so people like you know mcdenny and herman and 90s uh they all left and i was quite close to them so i was like oh my god like what am i doing <laughs> kind of thing but kept the project going nonetheless um but then around the time i got stabbed i was like okay maybe i should just drop this group because this is just you know stressful and i never had a good relationship with graham anyway so i was kind of like oh like fuck this guy like i don't want to be working for him anymore rah, rah, rah. but um i don't know some something inside me just told me to keep going and just keep running stuff because i felt an obligation to the people and that same obligation to people is what's kept me going now because if you like i said earlier that when i got removed loads of people to show support for me and i was like you know what like these people care um about this community so if if my effort means it gonna keep going then i'm gonna keep putting the effort in so to answer the question then shortly um at the start not so much not at all actually but then as um as updates began to slow down nations began to die out stuff began to leave uh, i definitely began to consider quitting more and more and honestly um if Men of War had communicated with me more about, like, getting a replacement and, like, you know, being a bit more nice about it, I would have definitely, like, you know, I probably would have given a group over. Um, I think I, I did say a few times that if they did try to replace me without my, like, permission or whatever, um, I just I just deleted the BA Discord so they couldn't take guys. But I ended up not doing that because they already had a Discord made, and people had already been joining it by the time I got online. Um, but the only effort Men of War made to, made to reach out to me about this stuff in, like, an official manner was in that screenshot I, I showed you. And, I mean, you can see, after I, I respond, Graham doesn't make any further statement. Like, he just, he just leaves it. So um, I think if... Um, if they had made a more of an effort to kind of communicate with me and like make make me see like hey like you know we got a new guy with loads of people and he's really chill and like all this and you know then yeah maybe I, I would have um maybe I would have quit the group and given it over and you know there'd be no issue but they had they they I, in my opinion I, I feel like the men of war team were quite <laughs> rude to be frank they made us they made a server like a month in advance um fucking. Lemp originally denied it, like knowing about it at all, and then like a staff meeting got leaked, and then he came out and said that he did know about. It. Oh, it's just, just a bunch of bullshit, really. Um, but yeah, I, I am rambling a little bit though. This this interview's probably taken like an hour or something. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. it's okay. Okay, sweet. Is there uh, is there anything else you want to ask? Anything else that's on your mind or what? Nah, that's all. Okay, man.